Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I stop a paddle float from slipping off a Greenland paddle blade. In the second half of the video I'm going to show you this in action when I do a practice self-rescue drill. Paddle. And as you can see, because it's a narrow Greenland paddle, it can actually twist around inside the paddle float and could potentially come out of here. So I've used, on one of the drawstrings, I've added this Velcro strap which I've just put tightly around the loom. It only took me a few seconds more to fit and it means that now the paddle float isn't going to slide off the uh, paddle. It means I, as I've been doing just now, I can use this as a stable outrigger and uh, if I wanted to take a rest on a long crossing or if, if I'm doing a self-rescue or helping somebody else over a more extended period, I've got a very useful float that's nice and secure on the paddle. Okay, so it's just a, a straightforward little Velcro strap here with a little buckle on it that pulls through and it attaches to itself. It's an old watch strap. Okay, and you can make up one of these yourself using this uh, Velcro material. What is your preferred method of self-rescue that you use? Let me know in the comments below, especially if you use a Greenland paddle. What are your thoughts on paddle floats in general? Personally, I quite like them because I find they're useful for multiple purposes, including recently I've started practicing using one in conjunction with a tow line to help rescue a panicking swimmer. And I'll be making a future video about this. Remember to click the like button if you got value from this video. And if you like making your own solutions to problems that you face with your kayak or canoe, then you might find these other two videos of interest. Thank you for watching.